Hi everyone, I'm back to complete my like three part series on the Sigma premium makeup brush set that I received yesterday. So if you're interested in knowing um, what the brushes look like when like I first received them, um, I have a video where I am washing them, um, doing tug and pull tests, um, showing um, ink factor, stuff like that. And um, this video now is kind of a conclusion to my um, initial review of this set of brushes. I won't be doing another review for a few months because I actually want to use the brushes um, to see if I have any shedding during that time or if I if the quality goes down significantly, I want to kind of keep note of that. So again, if you're wondering about Sigma brushes, um, watch my other two videos and um, keep on watching for this one. Hey everyone, I am back with my Sigma brushes that were dried overnight and let me start with their tapered face brush. This is their F25. And it it kept its shape pretty good. Um, there was a little bit of shedding um, right away. I didn't want to do the pull test until um, I was recording the video, so... And no hairs. So... It's a really, really soft brush. The only thing is that that, like, new brush smell for certain brushes, that is still, that set is still on here. I don't know how many washings it will take for that to go away. I typically don't have that problem with my MAC brushes, um, the smell. And this is my MAC 138, so this would be the brush that's kind of comparable to this one. And you can see the MAC brush over here is I'm pretty much the same size, actually. Let's see. Um, the Sigma one is probably just a little bit fluffier. But very, very soft crystals. Um, and it might be because I've had this one, my Mac one, for a while, but the, the bristles actually on the Sigma one are softer. So I decided to try that one. Um, and like I said with the smell, certain brushes, for example, this is my Posh Kabuki brush. This I've had for over two years, and it still has that smell. And I've used it quite a few times, um, but it doesn't bother me so much. And now I'm going to show you the F15. This is the Dewar, Duo Fiber Powder Blush brush. And this is similar to Max 131. Oh, there's the two. Very, very similar. Sorry about that. I just received a, a phone call from my daughter's school, and it startled, startled me a little bit because it's the first time I'm using that ringtone. And, um,. The song is by Nelly, it's called Just a Dream, and it's my favorite song of the moment. Okay, so getting back to the brushes, you can see that the MAC 131 and the Sigma F15 are very similar in size. Um, the bristles seem to be about the same length. The handle's, of course, shorter. Um, and then the Sigma one looks a little bit fuller. I think you can definitely tell that. 
So, um, very soft bristles again. And this is, oh, I forgot to check the shedding, huh? Okay. There's one hair. So it's shedding a little bit. But you can see I'm pulling really very hard and I only got like a couple more hairs, little short hairs. Okay, so that doesn't bother me so much. On the next brush is the Large Concealer F65 and This one, I'm not getting any additional shedding. Um, this is great for concealing large areas or under your eye. Um, I actually like using brushes like this to apply my paint pot to like my entire eyelid. So that's this one. And the large fluff brush, the E50. Um, This one I'm not getting any shedding. Again, very soft uh, bristles. I don't have a comparable MAC one for this. Like I said yesterday, the closest one I have is my T27, but it's a lot larger. So The next brush is this E45, the small tapered blending brush. And this is the one yesterday that, when it was wet, it looked kind of funky because it had a lot of the hair sticking out. But I think it actually dried up pretty nice. Um, the brush hairs are, you know, not too um, loose. And... This one, I'm not getting any shedding by pulling on it. So, this is going to be a good brush for your outer beef and blending into your face. Uh, the next brush is the E20, and um, it is the short shader brush. This one, I assume, is not really going to give me any shedding. no shedding. Um, this one can be used for your inner corner. Um, also, you can use it to like smudge liner or eyeshadow below your lash line. Uh, the final brush that was in the kit is the small eyeliner, the E10. And this one is very comparable to the, the MAC one. And that one is right here. So mine's a little dirty because I actually recently used it. But you can see the tips are very similar. Um, they're about the same length in my opinion. And they're about the same. But the point at the top looks the same also. So um, these are the kind of brushes that I use for my gel eyeliners. So, um, oh, and one more thing, this is the Blending E25 that you get as a free gift. Um, super, super soft brush. A really good um, imitation or dupe to the MAC 217. And I don't think I'm getting any shedding with this either. Alright, so um, there you go. I showed you the brushes after, when I first got them, while I was washing them, um, before I dried them, and now that they're completely dry, I, I don't expect to have too much of a shedding problem, but I could be wrong, so I plan to do an update video in like a few months, so I really want to see how well they will hold up, so that will be for another time. So that's pretty much it. This set was $59. Um, so my 
Um, overall opinion on the brush set is that I do like it, actually. I think it was a very good price for the set. I don't think I would have bought this for, I think it's $19 sold separately. Yeah. I don't know that I would have done that. But the whole set was 59 And that's my timer. And, um... I think if you are one of those that is starting off and maybe can't afford high-end brushes, these are absolutely a good choice to go with while you're building up your high-end brush kit. And I only have had these for two days, so I, I can't, you know, really... Um, give my opinion on the longevity. Uh, the MAC brushes, however, I know I can because a lot of my MAC brushes are 8 to 10 years old and they have held up just fine. I've never had to actually replace any one brush. So, um, so yeah, that's my review. If you guys have any questions, um, comment or private message me and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.